Hello there and welcome. In this video we are going to take a look at how you can use mkdocs to basically generate static, sta static sites with the help of Python and this Python module. So basically that's it. What we would like to do is to create a folder. I will call it mking and inside this folder I will create a virtual environment called mking and uh, <coughs> inside this virtual environment after activation we will use the pip install mkdocs once the installation is complete what we can do is to use mkdocs to generate our uh, project so mkdocs new or let's call this demo new demo all right let's create or open it up with the code editor so this is the virtual environment folder and this is the mkdocs project folder here in the mkdocs fold the demo folder we find the mkdocs yaml which is a yaml file which allows us to describe how our site looks like and what's the configuration and inside the docs we have the welcome or the index.md so <clears throat> let me bring up a site for you so markdown sheet sheet and basically this site shows you how and what you can do with markdown and mkdocs is fully compatible with it so we are going to use it to add some content great so now if i go back to my terminal and this should mk uh, let's navigate to the demo folder and mkdocs serve this is going to spin up a web server that is going to render the contents of the mkdocs uh, folder or the demo folder if you will and what we can do is to basically specify a site url and this site url can be specified in the mkdocs yaml so site url and basically we could say https example.com if i save it what it does is detects the change in the documentation file and it will reload the contents great we also have a search button that allows us to search here on the site so let's say we want to uh, search for the configuration and here you can see this is where it found it and uh, what can we do we can also add uh, different pages to the site so let's say i want to create an about page let's call this about dot md and welcome this is an about page and check out my youtube channel called reaper pie and let me add the channel name so on youtube slash at reaper pi and if i navigate in the browser to this url it should give us my channel great <clears throat> so now what we have to do is to basically adjust our mkdocs.yml and here we have to specify a list and under the nav we will have the home 
which will be the index.md and the about, which is the about.md. If I save it and reload the content of this page, let me uh, reload it. So basically what you can see here on the top navigation bar, we find the home and the about. Why is it not working? Oh, did I save it? No, I did not. <laughs> so this is basically the message. <clears throat> we also have the navigation buttons. So it's, it's a pretty decent solution. And uh, yeah, so what we can also do is to adjust the theme of this basically layout or static site. So if we see, say in the configuration file, read the docs and save it, we should see the change in the documentation. Basically, yeah, this is one. And as you can see under the home page, we have these sections marked. So if I want to add a new section under the about page, what I can do is to copy whatever is in the index page. So basically about me, I am uh, 32 years old <coughs> DevOps engineer and hobbies. My hobbies are riding my bike and hiking in the nature. So if I save it, this should create under the MK docs two new sub pages at least under the about. Yeah, here we have it. So commands, project layout, and home, welcome. Oh, hold on. This should be the first level. And now these are correct. So if we visit the markdown cheat sheet, you can see that these are different types of headings. And MKDocs knows what to render as a page, what to render as a section with a link here. So basically, what we can do is to use it. For example, let's create a new page called python.md and call this python tutorial. Let's not forget to add it under the nav section and save it. So Basically, you can download Python from python.org. Let me copy the link. And with the import this command, you can print the Zen of Python. And here we add the Python and import this and just save it. <clears throat> Let's add it to a section. So Zen of Python and save it. And if we revisit our site, you can see that the Python page has appeared. And here we have a link to the Zen of Python. And we have the 
syntax highlight if you want. We can also add uh, what should we do? Let's add the footnote. So basically this will be a footnote and we should add in between brackets and this sign that this is a footnote. Let's save it and basically this is it. Hmm. Seems like this is not rendering. Or maybe I have made a typo. No, I didn't make a typo. Okay, let's see if task list is supported. Is this supported? And say this one with an X, this is done. This is to be done. This is also to be done. And save it. And if you go back and reload it, it doesn't seem to be supported either. Maybe I should break it in a new line. Ah, yeah. <coughs> so this way it is able to show us this task list and we I think we can also create uh, basically tables so let's go to the index page and say that table and we say syntax description and here we have all these characters. Let me copy and paste it. And say header, title, and paragraph, and text. And just save it and see how it looks like. Wow, the table is supported. Okay, so uh, basically we could do it uh, in more examples, but I think you get the idea. Let's see if uh, there are any more useful tips here. We have seen how we can change the theme, add the new page, how we can theme it, and what do we have? In the end, when you create the site and it looks like as you want it to look like, you can use the mkdocs build. And basically, this is going to create a new folder. And this is under the demo and the site. So basically, if I go and navigate here with my explorer and open the index.html, this is going to be the HTML version. So it's not something that is rendered live, but rather the static site as I want it Great. <clears throat> All right. And that was it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you in the next one.